Nate, me, Erisi, and Ollie are upping from the Bay Area and we're leaving to go down to Southern California in LA particularly. Um, why are we doing this? Well, we haven't been home in four years, but for 30 years, the Bay Area was a place I called home. I was born and raised in the Bay Area and I never left for college. I went to college in the same town that I grew up in. And finally, once Nate and I got married and our YouTube channel took off was when we finally decided to leave. And in the past seven years living in SoCal, I kind of feel like that became my home, but there's always this unsettling feeling of like, where do I belong? San Francisco especially, I used to go up there every single weekend, have fun with my friends, have fun with Nate, go out there. San Francisco kind of transformed into something super unrecognizable, something that, to be honest, I'm a little bit scared to go back because of all the crime and burglaries and everything. I just don't feel very comfortable and then of course where I grew up it's filled with just memories of my childhood and memories of my late dad and it's it's hard to go back because that feeling and that those memories just kind of belong in a different era of course there's this whole stigma attached to like not going back home if somehow I don't go home, I'm letting everyone down, and you just have these unspoken expectations hanging over our heads, just making it really tough. Like, going home is hard. So I'm going home with a bunch of mixed emotions, and I kind of can't help but wonder what's really at stake here. Is going home really about seeing how much the Bay Area has changed, and reaffirming that we indeed did make the right decision to move down here to follow our dreams, or is it to kind of sense of belonging that I've kind of been missing? Am I gonna feel like settling back in my roots is the right move? Or am I gonna realize that our life here is what we're meant to have and just kind of keep chugging along with the life we've built? I don't know, but all I know is that I need to go pack now. So this is actually a suitcase that my parents gave me when I graduated college so i can go traveling but i haven't really done a ton of traveling these days or really in the past so i'm gonna bust it out and take it home it's still in good condition i usually do all the packing for the family except the kids are gonna help me out with their own today how come everything is so wide i can't zoom in and out the good thing about going home though is that if I'm missing something, I can just raid my sister's house to get what I need. What are you packing? Um, my toy. I'm packing books. And I've got glasses, so I'm going to play my glasses. What do you need your glasses for? The sun. Let me see. What pillow I should wear? You don't need to bring a pillow. They have a pillow and a blanket for me. Yeah, they do. YouTubers come with a lot of equipment. Holly, are you ready to go? Is everyone else ready to go? Yes! yes. Ready to go? Yes, we're ready to the concert! Bye! Are we in Oregon or something? No, we're still in SoCal. House tour! Hello. 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 What did you guys find in here? Ooh, toys! Bedroom and then the bathroom. Oh, there's a pool. It's a little cold though. Oh, this is such a nice and big bathroom. I love the skylight in there. This is so like old school, traditional Bay Area, Los Gatos style. Oh, whoa. Did you see that? <laughs> How do you work it? No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so curious. This then, is my bathroom. This is your bathroom? My turn. How does it feel to be back? So we're staying in a neighborhood called Willow Glen. It's not really one that I grew up in. Um, it's not one that I actually went to a lot. Nate's aunt lives nearby and my sister 
does too so it's a very like suburban family yeah it's friendly. super suburban family friendly and if we had decided to settle down here I feel like here Los Gatos Saratoga that would have been the area that we would have decided on I still remember all of the roads I hit up my old grocery store it feels good to be back honestly but now we are heading to the mall the Valley Fair one that I actually used to work in while I was in college at this store called Esprit and it's no longer there but they redid the whole mall about like two or three years ago I haven't been back I haven't seen it so there's a lot of changes there there's an Italy it's supposed to be really nice but we're going bowling tonight with my family few moments later well she doesn't want to take the freeway or what Google Maps tells her she thinks she knows where she's going you know what I always say, you could take the girl out of San Jose, but... I, w I am not from San Jose. <laughs> what if a lot of people are? That's kind of I was messed not up. San I'm not from San Jose, I'm from Santa Clara. She thinks she's better than San Jose people. You're so annoying. Well, at least I'm not from Redwood Shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I wear that proudly on my sleeve. <laughs> That's how <Doggy's> he's back. <laughs> Tell a friend. Don't tell a friend. Guess I can't see back. everyone. Guess who's back? Right there. Hi, Papa. Wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Boo! Hi. <laughs> Hi. No, we got it. We got it. Cleaning them out. Good morning guys, it's the next morning. We had a really fun night last night. I've heard from so many people that the mall has changed so much and it's so nice. It kind of feels a little bit airporty, just like how big it is. I remember for Halloween, my parents used to be so paranoid about us going um, trick-or-treating at people's houses. And so they would take us to the mall on Halloween because they used to have events there and they would pass out candy because like stores were more trusted because <laughs> they handed out candies too. So we did that and that was always a fun memory. It's just been really, really, really nice to be back. All of the anxiety I had really went away as soon as I saw my sister, my mom, the kids. Today though, we are heading up to San Francisco. We're going to have breakfast with Nate's family first. Um, and then we're going to go up to San Francisco, drive across the bridge, show the kids all of the places that mama used to go to and Nate too. But there's this one photo in particular that I want to recreate. There's this photo right here in this spot where my sister and I were about Rolly and Cece's age. And I really want to recreate it with the back drop of the Golden Gate Bridge just because it was so special. Every time we had family come in, we would go to this spot, grab a picture, and then go to dim sum in Chinatown and just really spent like the whole day there and it was one of the most fun we've ever had. Welcome to Cupertino, home of Apple, Hewlett Packard, all the tech things where you'll start seeing spaceship looking buildings all over the road. And right there is the old Apple building. Riveting content, yes. So what What about Daddy? He loved to drive on this freeway. Why? Because he said it did pretty. Yeah. It's true. 280 is one of the most beautiful freeways in the country. Nate grew up around up there, so he knows all of the beautiful drive spots on the way to San Francisco. Hi, 
So here's the photo that I'm trying to recreate. We found the visitor center, which definitely has a similar angle, I think. But it doesn't look like there's this little sign anywhere, so I have to go hunting for it. And then hopefully we could capture this same exact picture. This is my cousin from France. This is little old me. Maybe I was a little bit older than Roro, but and that's my sister. And there's a beautiful rainbow to greet us. So beautiful. Okay, you guys, let's go for a little walk. Is it over there where those people are? Maybe, I think so. I think we found something. I'm looking for that little sign. Okay, so I need to find more of these signs. Okay, okay let's go up. I think we can keep going back down. Okay. Okay, Nate thinks he found it. He just looked on Google Maps. We'll see. We'll see. It's kind of a fun scavenger hunt, huh? What do you got there? What? Search continues. Months later. I think I see it. It looks a little bit different from the photo, but overall it's gotten a modern updated photo because I'm sure this was taken in the 80s at some point. The angle and that half dome thingy. Smile, one, two, three. Look poorly, look here, camera, look at the camera. I think we got it. And I want to take one of just these two, so maybe one day they could recreate their own memories coming back here. So that was pretty amazing that we were able to find that because I wasn't really sure if we'd be able to find that area just because it's been super redeveloped, as you can see. But I think now we are going to drive across the bridge. What did you guys think about Golden Gate Bridge? Good. Was it amazing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like San Francisco. Do you like San Francisco more or Newport Beach more? Newport Beach more. Really? Do you want to live in San Francisco? Should we move to San Francisco? Yeah? Would that make you happy? No, that, I'm that not staying in Newport Beach. The Golden Gate Bridge. So I have to tell you guys about a weird dream I had one day. Not too long ago, but somehow I dreamt that we were up in San Francisco and we were going up one of those like really steep hills and I don't know what happened, but like we slid backwards. <laughs> that was really odd, but we're about to go up a really steep hill. So hopefully we don't slide backwards. Oh my gosh. Look, look at the sides. Like look how steep this is. That's the Comstock right there. Remember it was one of our date spots. That's our dim sum place. We used to go here for dim sum. Oh, well, I guess they changed owners now. But this building is where we used to go get dim sum for uh, Chinese New Year's. What do you think of these tall buildings, CC? Smells good. And here we have a Valencia latte where it's what? orange blossom water with some coconut cream and brown sugar. How is it? It's as good as I remember. As much as Southern California is like a mecca for food, there's some amazing gems in the Bay Area that can't be beat. Pretty, pretty, pretty basic. My sister gave me my belated Christmas present, a Stanley mug, and the Eras Tour sweatshirt because we went to the Eras Tour in August. Two of the most basic things in life, and I love it. Packing up to leave today. It's the last day. So as I'm packing, I realize that I have really mixed feelings about going home and I'm actually not really ready to go back yet because it's just been really nice to be here with my family, with my friends, just seeing everybody again. It's almost as if like we never missed a beat, especially with like Kay. I saw her yesterday and we realized the last time we actually saw each other in person was six years ago when she went down to LA to visit me when 
we like first moved down. Like it's wild how fast time goes now that I never want to go four years again without coming home because I don't know. I'm getting nostalgic and I'm getting emotional right now, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Why am I always such an emotional wreck? I don't know. <laughs> I think the one thing that was missing in my life was just being around everyone that I knew, loved, and just just being home. Obviously, it comes with a lot of like anxiety about other things, about coming home. <sighs> But we just have to face them, and we did face them. It ended up being just fine because setting boundaries and just having the space to say no and just protecting your peace is also really important. <laughs> Careful, thank you. You're welcome. Can't forget my keychain. Yeah. All right, ready to go, but there's one last stop and one last person I have to see. Hi, Daddy. Why are you giving it to the wall? I'm giving it to Omar because he's behind the wall. Why he's not talking? He can't talk. He's not, he's, he can't talk. Can I say hi to him? Hi. This is Rolly and this is Cece. That's a lie. It's their first time meeting. I would have loved you guys so much. I will see soon. But why will come back and visit you again?